hello everyone welcome back to mesh explorer in this video i'm going to solve this amazing square root math problem that is whole square root of 3 raised to power 4 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 raised to power 8 raised to power 8 so how can we solve square root number like this having 5 powers in the base so when we have such a problem so here we will use a result no we have to remember this result we have a problem like this means that we have powers in this form a raised to power b raised to power c raised to power d raised to power e and so on so here we will solve the powers from top to bottom and we will move down so according to this property here first we will try to solve this power a raised to power 8 now what is the value of a raised to power 8 so here we can write a raised to power 8 as this means that we need to multiply this base 8 times. So let's multiply this base 8 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now what do you think about this multiplication? If we multiply 8, 8 times, so what will be our answer? It gives him about 16 minutes or more number. So let us suppose this bigger number at raised to power 8 is equal to x. Let us suppose this is x. Now here we will replace this power at raised to power 8 with x. So this equation will become this implies no this square root problem will become square root of 3 raised to power 4 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 or raised to power x now here we will try to solve this power 1 raised to power x now what is the value of 1 raised to power x so therefore we can write 1 raised to power x as if we have any power of 1 so it is always equal to 1 this is because if x is equal to let us suppose it is equal to 1000 or 1 million or 1 billion so multiplying one any number of times it always gives him one so here we replace this power 1 raised to power x with one so this will become implies it will become square root of 3 raised to power 4 raised to power 2 and this is equal to one so this will become one now next here we will try to solve this power 2 raised to power 1 now 2 raised to power 1 is very simple it means that we have to multiply or write this base to one time so 2 raised to power 1 is equal to 2 now here we we'll replace this power 2 raised to power 1 with 2 so this will become implies it will become 3 raised to power 4 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 is 2 now next here we will try to find out the value of 4 raised to power 2 so what is 4 raised to power 2? 4 raised to power 2 means we need to multiply 4 2 times. So 4 times 4 is 16. So here the value of 4 raised to power 2 or 4 square is 16. Now here we will replace this power 4 raised to power 2 with 16. So this will become square root of 3 raised to power 16. Now what we will do here? Here we will use a result and we will change this square root to its exponential form, radical form. So here we will use this result. We can write square root of any number a as an exponential form a raised to power 1 over 2. Means that we can write square root of any number in exponential form as 1 over 2. So here we will replace this square root with 1 over 2. So this will become implies this will become 3 raised to power 16 whole raised to power 1 by 2 now here we have two powers so here we will use an identity an exponential math property and we will multiply the powers so here we will use this one exponential math property when we have a number in this form a raised to power m whole raised to power n then here we will write the base one time and we will multiply the power so this will become a raised to power m times n no using this exponential property this identity here we will multiply these two powers 16 with 1 by 2 so this will become 3 raised to power 16 times 1 by 2 now here we will simplify these two powers here 
2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 8 is 16. So this will become 3 is to power 8. Next we can write this 3 is to power 8 as, 8 can be written as 4 plus 4. Now here inside this number we will use another exponential math property. So here inside this number we will use this one exponential math property. R is to power m plus n which can also be written as r is to power m times r is to power n. Now using this exponential math property we here we can write this number 3 is to power 4 plus 4 as this will become 3 is to power 4 times 3 is to power 4. Now here we will try to find out the value of 3 is to power 4. That what is the value of 3 is to power 4? So here the value of 3 is to power 4 is we need to multiply 3 4 times. So here 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27 and 27 times 3 is about 81. So the value of 3 to power 4 is 81. So here we will replace both the numbers 3 to power 4 with 81. So this will become 81 times 81. Now how can we multiply these two numbers without using a calculator and without using standard multiplication. So we can multiply these two numbers very easily. We will write the first number 81 as the same times and here we can write this 81 as the sum of 80 plus 1. Now here we will multiply this 81 with these two numbers first with 80 and then with 1. So it is very simple. So let's multiply these two numbers. So here this will become 81 times 80 plus no we will multiply 81 with 1 so 81 times 1 is at simply 81 here we will multiply these two numbers so it is very simple here 81 times 0 is 0 and 81 times 8 is 8 times 1 is 8 and 8 times 8 is 64 so this will become 6480 plus this one 81 so we will add these two numbers. Now to add these two numbers, we will start from the ones digit. So here 1 plus 0 is 1. So this will become 1. No. We will add the digits at tens position. So here 8 plus 8 is 16. So this will become 6. 1 will be carried to the hundreds digit. So the hundred digits is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. Comma. And this 6 will be the same because there is no thousand digit in this one number. So here 6561 is our answer. So finally 6561 means that 6561 is our answer and value of this nice and interesting square root math problem. Now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step by step math videos. Thanks for watching.